Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to Amara and My Stilettos. I'm Crystal and I'm excited because today I'm going to be talking about seven ways you can identify if this is the person that God has brought to you to marry. So let's go ahead, let's jump into today's video. First things first, there is going to be physical attraction. You guys know I've already said this in other videos, but you guys, you wanna be attracted to the husband that God has for you. So don't be sad. I've seen people say like, oh man, like I don't think they that cute, but I think this is the one God has for me. If you're not attracted to them, that's not the one God has for you. You need to be physically attracted to your spouse. And that's what I'm talking about right now. Physical attraction. You will be physically attracted to this person. I'm not saying you'll think, oh man, I'm gonna faint every time I look into their eyes. They the best thing I've seen since sliced bread. Like, no, I'm not saying it's gonna be all that. But what I will say is you will find this person attractive. They will be attractive to you. Number two, there will be a spiritual connection. You will feel a drawing to this person. This may not happen in your very first conversation, but there is something about who your spirit is that's gonna speak to who their spirit is. And the best way I could try to describe this is like when you go to a church and maybe it's your first or second time visiting there, but there's just this feeling, just this knowing like I belong here. That's the way that you're going to feel your spirit connect to this other person. Like, man, I just want to be around them like there's just something about them that that I understand that understands me that doesn't feel like we're estranged I can definitely say when I met my husband Ricky it it just felt like he just fit into my life I wanted to spend all of my time with him literally we spent so much time together um but I wanted to spend so much time with him because just who I was and who he was, our spirits. There's something about the spirit of who he was that just clicked. It felt so natural and so second nature. Number three, there will be chemistry. So this isn't the same as that spiritual fit I was just talking about. Chemistry is when you get along with somebody. You can laugh, y'all talk, you have fun together. You're just enjoying each other's company. So less on the spiritual side that I was just talking about, but just on the natural side of man, like do I enjoy being in this person's company do we are we able to laugh at the same things do we enjoy the same types of foods like just that natural do you guys get along or are you always arguing if you always arguing with this person y'all can't never agree on anything that's a red flag but if you guys are able to get along and saying that listen i'm not saying things will always be peaches and cream walks on sand and the beach and all that you guys will have disagreements and points of growth that's natural for any relationship. But I'm just saying, in general, do you all get along? That's something that is important. Number four, and this is big. Who they are speaks to your purpose and calling in life. Dating in the world's realm, all day, is very right now. Like, what are you doing for me right now? Who are you to me right now? When you meet the person that God has assigned for you to marry, the person that God wants for you to be with, they are not going to just speak to your right now. They are going to speak to what it is that God is calling you to do 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, if the Lord tarry years from now with this person. So you want to be able to listen to the things that they are passionate about. I know for Ricky and I, we both knew we want to minister to people all around the world, sharing the love of God, the truth of who God is. Like that was super important to both of us. And that is one of the things that united us together in purpose and continues to unite and strengthen our relationship today, knowing that we have the same focus, the same goal. And so you wanna see, is this person able to speak to the person God is calling me to be in the future? Not just having fun, good time right now. What about 10, 15, 20 years from now? Number five, God will present this person to you. Listen, my eyes were open and I was aware. Y'all already know that watch my video on how I met, married my husband in nine months. Go check it out if you didn't see it. I tell the full story there. But you guys, I was looking. I was open. My eyes were aware. I was ready. But this is the thing. God is going to present your spouse to you. 
And I say that because some of us are so busy looking for what we want, we can't see what God is trying to bring into our lives. We think it's gonna be in a certain package, gonna look a certain way, gonna you know, have a certain height, certain age, certain this, that, the third, all these other types of things. And God is trying to bring someone into our life to speak to where we are going. Again, back to that purpose thing. He bringing somebody to us that's gonna speak to who he's calling us to be. The person we can't even fully see 10 years from now, but he can. And so he knows what we need to be able to carry that out. And so I wanna just say, be aware, be, be receptive, be present, but don't be so focused in on what you're looking for that you cannot see what God is trying to bring you. Let God present the options to you. Number six, and I like this one, y'all. It does not take a long time to know if this is the person that God has for you. When this is the person that God is bringing to you, it's not going to take years and months and all this time. God is not trying to waste your time. You're not trying to waste your time. Why would God try to waste your time? He knows time is a valuable asset. Listen, here on earth, you know, here on operating time. But anyways, listen, God is not trying to waste your time. And that is because the person that he wants to bring you into union with, again, he has a purpose that you two are designed to live out in this earth. And for that reason, the more time you waste with the wrong person, is wasting the time that you could be spending with the right person living out what God has assigned the two of you to do in this earth together. So he's not gonna be like, oh, okay, wait three years and then I'll let you know if it's the one or not. Like, he don't wanna do that. He can tell you right like that. And that's something that really like astounds me or befuddles me. People that I know can hear from God. Like, he, I'm talking about I know these people can hear from God. Like, they've heard from God about their life, my life, friends' life, people they don't know life. You can hear from God. These people can hear from God, and they hear about all this other stuff. But then when it comes to their mate, they're like, I don't really know what God is saying. And it's like, no, you can definitely know what God is saying. This is so important. If God is going to tell you about somebody else's life, surely he's going to speak to you concerning the person that he has for you to marry. And I'm not saying he's going to tell you their name because then, you know, that's not a whole nother weird thing that sometimes people get into. But I'm just saying if somebody presents themselves to you as an option, you can easily ask God, is this, is, is this them? Is this them? And a lot of times you don't even have to ask. I did not have to ask. I was just talking to Ricky and God was like, this the one. I didn't say, hey God, is this the one? When I was having the conversation I was having with him, when we first met, I wasn't standing there thinking, oh, this could be my husband. Nothing like that was going through my head. I was literally just holding a conversation with him and God was like, this is the one. If he can do that for me, he can do that for you. You do not have to walk around confused about if the person you're dating, you're talking to, all of that is the person that God has for you. Like why would, like that's not God. God is not an author of confusion. So anyways, number six, don't be confusing all that for no reason. God will let you know what the deal is and it doesn't take a long time. Doesn't take a long time. God told me in our first, literally the first day that we like met and had a conversation together, God told me. Two weeks later, he told my husband that we was the one for each other. Like that's not all these months and years and days, okay? okay. Which rolls into number seven, the final thing, which is the most important thing that will identify that this is the person that God has for you, God will say it. God will say it. God will say it. It won't take him a long time to say it, like I just said about number six, but it will be clear. God will say it, which is why it's important for you to know the voice of God. Um, I have some more videos that are coming up. I want you guys to know the videos that I'm going to be putting out for you guys on singleness and meeting your husband are going to be, I guess I could call them fast track videos because they are going to be videos that are dedicated to helping people that do not want to be caught up in the longevity of the guessing game of the dating process and all of that trying to meet their husband because I just don't feel like that's necessary. I don't. I want, I'm gonna let y'all know this. I did not go on my first date with my husband until after I already knew that he was going to be my husband. Yeah, go ahead. Think on that. We did not go on our first date until after we knew that we were the people that God had, had said that we would marry. After 
dating is not this guessing game for Christians. It shouldn't be. The world uses dating as a guessing game to try to get to know, to try to figure out, is this the one? Is this not the one? We have the Holy Spirit on the inside of us and we don't have to do all of that. God will let us know the person that we are supposed to be with. As a Christian, you should be using dating to confirm what God said, not figure out what God said. That's it and that's all I'm gonna say about that because like I said, I have some videos that I'm going to be having coming up for you ladies that want to just not deal with all the foolishness. You done with it, you done with it, you done with it. Cause that's what I got to. I got to place when I was done with it and I was like, God, did, you gonna do this or it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be doing all this dating no more. And that's exactly how I was able to meet and marry my husband in months. And I'm trying to get some more people into this married in months club, okay? Okay. So anyways, be on the lookout for these videos, this content that I have coming up for you guys. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Hit that bell notification so you always know when I have posted more content for you. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.